Hey, Max here. I'm going to do a different type of video today. This is my Thrustmaster Xbox and Series X and S controller. It's one of my favorite controllers of all time. It's my premium controller, but there's a problem. This is like a this isn't your typical review. I love this controller. Okay? Uh, but look my analog my analog stick broke it's very smooth but here's the good thing it's removable okay and these are like 20 to 30 bucks on their own and it's got a lot of interesting accessories you could buy now i bought this as a open box item from best buy here's a look at the box eswap pro controller it shows um it shows that you can remove things and sometimes the the only downside to this controller is sometimes the the sticks are out of, are, are out of um out of stock but i did pick up and this is a while ago I picked these up. I just haven't had time to do the video. I didn't want to repair it off screen. So here is the one I'm really excited about. It has a LED orange crystal pack. So I think the, the sticks glow. It also has, uh, look at that uh, cross button for 2D games. Triggers. I wasn't really thinking about replacing the triggers, but we'll see. I should get the whole experience. Here's one uh, for the PS4 version, but I heard it works with this too. You just got to update the controller online, and i i haven't um, I haven't plugged this in my PC to get the most recent update, but it has. Uh, buttons and this is the cross thing it's like a circular pad for fighting games i don't know if it's going to be any good and here's the most exciting one they have a limited edition forza controller here's another option besides an actual racing wheel it's a it's a, a wheel a mini wheel that you could put on your controller. Now there's a whole limited edition controller for this, but you could actually buy just the wheel by itself, which I think is a nice touch. Okay, don't mind the aloe plant in the back. Ooh, this is dusty. Whoops. Man, I didn't notice that till this. Don't mind the dust. Don't mind the dust. But let's open this. I kept the box. Uh, comes with a Thrustmaster bag for your controller. Oh, it comes with um, comes with extra buttons, but my controller. Look at that! It broke before that button, so that's not gonna work. Uh, this was there to protect it, and I don't remember what's in here. Uh oh, let me see what's in here. Nothing, nothing's in there. Whatever was in there is not in there anymore. So there's the controller. Uh, here is the directions. And here's the tool I think I need to, um, to repair the controller. All right, get that out of the way. Now, I think I could just get this... This is going to be really hard to get out without... Oh, no. How am I going to get this out without the, the stick? Oh, God. I may have to do this off camera. Um, again, that's not, that's not hard. Uh, you put this in and pull it out that way. But how am I going to get this out? Holy heck, that was really difficult. Oh, excuse me. 
the only way I could not do it on camera at all. I tried a butter knife to get into the corners. The only way I could get in there was at the very corner using a sharp knife with a point for leverage. And it took all my effort. When this is broken off, boy, Frostmaster, I love that you have options, but when that breaks, you're in serious trouble. Okay, let's see what comes in the racing wheel module. I'll try that first because it's one piece. Okay. Big packaging for uh, one little wheel. Okay. It's got a nice feel to it already. So uh, I'm going to replace this right now and put the racing wheel on. Hmm. I'll let you know how that is. Feels good. Feels good. I'm. I, I think it feels really quality. Next here is the E Swap Fighting Pack T mod. Now this isn't supposed to be for the Xbox, but again, you go and you update the firmware on the controller and off to a PC. And part of the reason I like is just um, visually aesthetically, you could put that on the handle. That's going to look badass. Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, so here's what it comes with. It comes with a sticker or something that's for the different stickers for the, the older model on the PS4. Um, it comes with these, so you have six buttons for fighting games. And this... Uh, I'll get it off camera. Okay, let's see how fast I could do this. I want to be careful because I don't want to break that again. Let's be real careful with... Oh, that's a little difficult to get out. All right, so... Nice. Feels better than I was expecting. And here's six buttons for fighting games. Now, let's see... Ooh... Oh no! It's a different size. Or wait, maybe it's the wrong side. Whoops. Oh, it's right. It's right. It's right. Whoops. Look at that. Under a minute. And you can have an awesome katana style. Look at that. That feels pretty good. Feels and these have the this the other reason I like this Thrustmaster controller is it has these buttons instead of the jelly bean buttons, which I'm an Xbox fan, but I can't stand those buttons. Okay, last but not least, the LED Orange Crystal Pack T-Mod. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to be putting this on my controller. I'm going to be playing with this the most, I think. I'm excited to see how the LEDs work. Let's open the box here. Um... It also has triggers. I've never tried to replace the triggers yet. Look at all that you get. Um, let me get this out first. That looks pretty cool. I don't know. I might keep my katana. Uh, here is the D-pad. I took the plastic off. A uh, little disappointed in the quality of the D-pad. It doesn't feel as high quality as this. I don't know. Feels really that feels pretty cheap. It comes with uh, extra buttons in case you like convex versus concave, and um, these. Oh no! I just thought this might be really hard to get out from the. Okay, there we go. How do I get this? Oh, I got to use the the T tool for these. Okay. And using this. 
Sorry. I'm new to filming things while I'm doing things. Alright. Let's pop these in. Nice. Pop this one in. And pop this in. Okay. Try... Ooh, I don't know if I like... It looks like orange sherbet. <laughs> and... Ooh, see, so you gotta screw this. I'm gonna do that off camera. You have to screw the triggers. I have to say, as a review of the Thrustmaster, and I've had this for a year or two, this is my least favorite part of this. Everything else is super smooth. This seems very clunky. It makes the triggers... This, this is the only thing on here it doesn't feel oh there we go oh i hate that look um that's what it looks like without the trigger on okay i'm screwing it in um i think i'm doing it tight no it's hard to there it's hard to line up the hole. I can't get in the hole, okay? Oh, wait, now it's going in. Okay. It's hard to do when the when the thing moves. Okay, all done. Um, I'm pretty happy with the whole experience of saving my Thrustmaster eSwap controller with new um, modules. Except for I don't I don't like how the trigger feels, but I mean it worked out. Uh, I think they look cool. They still feel good. Um, this is a pretty hefty controller. Another thing I like is that uh, you see this here. That's where you put the wire in, so it doesn't put pressure on the USB the USB C port. And. Um, I'm, oh, here's some plastic that's still on here. And the the actual um, vibration and uh, feedback is the best I best controller on the the Xbox for me. Um, close to the quality of the haptic feedback from the PS5 controller. The only thing I don't like about this, I don't like the orange side. So I'm going to switch that. Ooh, that looks so much better. It was worth getting the fighting pack one just for the katana sides. I love the customization. And you get more customization here than like um, a pro controller from directly from Microsoft where it's just Kellers. I like that. You, oh, man, I'm so glad I got that just for that. In the um, the team mod, the fighting one was I think was pretty much that was on sale, so I'm gonna be happy to play this. I'm glad that my sticks back, my premium controller. I'm gonna update the firmware, and I'll give you guys an update. Actually, to something that's good that's for this. Now you could put your controller in here. I'm gonna put all my controller pieces in here. It's gonna be a good place to store them triggers and this uh, this was very important <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it like that <laughs> okay thank you for watching my eSwap Pro Controller review and module review and saving my controller review because I don't have the money to buy another pro controller like this. So I'm glad Thrustmaster has options. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the triggers, I'll let you know how it's going. Look at that katana. So I I was worried. I was worried because uh, I haven't been playing for it for months. Now I've had this controller at least a year, probably two years. And I bought it open box, so it was already used. So... I think this is a good idea. I think more controllers need to do this. Controllers are way too expensive now. 70 bucks make these modules pretty standard. That's what I'm saying. And um, I'm going to try it out. 
I'll give you an update video on how it goes. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section. I'll see you later.